Hello from Chinature.com. This is Smoke Josie. So long time no see. I want to do a little review again on the Coastal Boken or Old Boken. Okay, this is the Boken, and the Old Boken is just a little bit longer, thicker, thicker blade. Okay, these things are really built tough. As you can see in my other videos, uh, older, much older videos, I try to break rebreakable boards with them, and they do work. But one of the argument is, well, you put the board, okay, with two support on the side, like how people usually break boards, like this, okay, like this, the board, you put two support here, and left the here empty, so that means that, okay, the board is going to be very easy to break because of how you can just break here, and the two support help to push it up. So that's a very good argument brought up by some of my uh, YouTube commenters. And so I want to bring it up to a different level of testing today. Uh, as you can see, we tested with the Rawlings Extreme uh, broadsword before. We're doing the same test. What we're going to do is tear us up very broken and fragile and not strong box. As you can see, I can press it and it's bouncy. Okay. The, bo the, the box, I'll show you later, is all chopped up below so it's very fragile and I, I was doing a blade review test with it so that's why it's here so I want to make use of the garbage of course so today I'll do a test again with all these rebreakable boards okay just to uh, introduce you to different ones these are Sentry brand they're very respected brand and uh, for martial art equipment these things are very strong the um, rebreakable board they have a standard of with withstanding a certain amount of force to break. So if you do not deliver the amount of force or do not hit right in the center where you're supposed to hit, okay, if you hit right here, it's not gonna work. So you got to be very accurate and also very, um, like really be able to ex ex uh, exert the power in order to break it, okay? So these are the four gratings, okay? Yellow ones, Weakest to the black one, toughest. I'll explain as I go, okay? First one, yellow. It requires 30 pounds to break. A kid can break it if you hold it like this, okay? Because you're pushing forward with your support while they're going straight through, right? So it's actually, you're helping them. But if you put it right here, they cannot break it because you have the whole, whole board supported unless your force is big enough to break through it and that will happen. So I'm gonna put this in a very soft and bouncy spot here. As you can see, it's bouncy. So I wanna try to use the cold steel boken to hit it and let you see that the boken is capable of delivering very deadly impact power, okay? So let's see. Good. I just did a light tap and it broke the yellow board. That's 30 pounds of force. The second one here is a blue board requiring 90 to 100 pounds of force to break. And as you can see, we still have the label here. It's quite new. <laughs> so, let's put it here. As you can see again, it's bouncy, okay? So let's try. Okay, broken again. Proven strong, 90 pounds, no problem. I wasn't even using a lot of force. This is the red 140 pound, or pink, whatever you call it, salmon color. And as you can see, right here, the bulkhead, there's no damage to the blade whatsoever. So, yeah, it's really strong stuff. Let's try again. Red. Ready? Oh, and by the way, I'm hitting with this part of the edge. Ready? Go. There you go. Another one. And our strongest one today is going to need 200 pounds of force to break. 200 pounds. You can get an adult below 200 pounds to stand on it on, and on the center and this thing will, will not break it's very fun so if you have a like a girlfriend or so you know uh, tell, tell her to uh, stand on it it will not break okay let's try this out Done. Woo. okay no damage to the tip just make sure or the edge no damage not even a dent and our board is broken. Wow. Whew. So, conclusion today, the Coastal Boken. 
Uh, very strong. This this thing is like crazy strong. Now putting my finger through the edge, see if I feel any dent or so. Nope, it's still the same. Very 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 strong. It can withstand a lot of impact, but I must warn you guys: do not chop these. Uh, these kind of blades, the trainer's weapon. Do not chop them against sharp objects or corners or something like that. Because they, they are not blade proof. They can only withstand impact. That means on soft target, medium target, flat target, things like that. Okay, you can use them for practicing. You can hit each other with these things. Uh, if you have safety gears or you can actually fight with the rolling extreme stuff they can bang and you know it won't really break them or damage them but if you if you use a knife or a sword to encounter and block it this thing will cut in half because these things are not uh, blade proof you cannot really like withstand any sharp blade with it even a corner like uh, a wall of a, of a wall if you bang it this thing will damage so do not do that it's strong but it can only be an uh, impact weapon or a training weapon that you use properly so yeah they are proven strong it won't break even you can put a lot of force on it and bang it each other's sword with it it, it won't break but then if you use it to to uh, like fight with a real sword it will break so very nice one of my uh, favorite Coast Steel series, the, the trainer's weapon. I have a lot of them. I have their uh, sword breaker, Glad Gladius uh, Machete uh, trainer. I have all their Japanese spoken stuff and stuff like that. So really cool. I really like it. So again, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye.